Good morning, folks. Welcome to our daily Timothy time. My name is Carl. I'm from Pure Bible Study here in Trondheim in Norway. And welcome to the last installment of this short series we're doing titled The Spirit of Santa. I trust you've enjoyed our, uh, our few times we've uh, met this week looking at this, this topic. And in way of review, we've, uh, we looked at the origin of Santa. You know, he started out in the third century, uh, a monk called Nicholas. We looked at that. Then we've we so far covered 10 points where we've looked at, at, at how we know and, and uh, understand in the West, we call him Father Christmas or Santa Claus. We, we've looked how we look at and see him and, and how he is this time of the year. We've looked at that and we've gone to the scripture and we've seen the counterfeit that the spirit of Santa is. Okay, now the, 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 the that. That counterfeit spirit, we've uh, we've come to understand that that's Satan himself, and we've looked at and discussed that Satan wants to be like the Most High. If we go over to Isaiah 14 and read the five I wills, you can see um, that pride filled his heart, and he fell. So uh, that's in way of review. We've looked at ten points. If you are interested in what they are, the videos are uploaded here. Just take a run through them. Today I want to carry on with the last. I've got three more points. There are a few more, but I just want to, I just want to simplify it down and just quickly look at these last three points. And then I want to close up with a, with, um, with a few passages of scripture from the Apostle Paul to close off this short study on the Spirit of Santa. Also today in our short time together, I want to, I'm going to have a very brief look at the little flock. Now, who are they? The little flock are the, 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 the Jewish kingdom church. Those, that small group of believers that were around between Acts chapter 1. In fact, from John the Baptist through to Acts chapter 7 and uh, um and uh, when we are raptured out, they, the, the, the little flock are about again in the ages to come. So I want to look at that little flock in light of um, a, a false Christs, antichrists being around in their time. You know, it's a, a lot of the time people will think, gee, you guys uh, are always talking about Paul. You never really talk about anything else in the Bible. Well, we do. We, we learn from all the books, but we understand that Romans to Philemon are, are written to us. That's our doctrine. We understand that. Anyway, so the, the point number 11, uh, Santa, he, 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 um, there's that song that we've been dealing with. Uh, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. So, so just looking at a stanza out of there, it says uh, he, 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 he makes a list, and, a list and checks it twice. Now, if you go to the book of Revelation, chapter 20, you read of the books are open and the book of life. Now, if you go and read in the passage there, you can, you can see the parallel and you can see the counterfeit that's there once again. And then moving on, another counterfeit, would you believe? Number 12, Santa always seems to rock up unannounced at midnight. Okay, <laughs> you know, whether he pitches up at 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock, let's just call it around midnight, okay, for, for the sake of argument. Now, if we go to the scriptures, especially, uh, there's a number of different places we can go to. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2 would be, a, I'm just, I'll just take you to that one. Uh, um, just for time's sake, 1 first, first Thessalonians 5, verse 2, it says, yeah, for, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh, cometh as a thief in the night. Now you've got to read this in, in, its, in its right context. Okay, um, this, is, uh, this has got to do with that, uh, that second coming time. Okay, so you read he comes as a, a thief in the night. Now there are other passages, Revelation 3.3. 3. So you, can you see the counterfeit again? I hope you can. And then it gets better. Here in, in, in Europe, now Santa Claus or Father Christmas, he's, he's got a couple of different aliases, different names, and one of them happens to be Chris Kringle. Now Chris, short for Christopher, if you look at the name, the meaning of the name Christopher, in essence it means bearing Christ inside. Okay, so 
you know, if we look at um, <laughs> bearing Christ inside, goodness me. Okay, so having having just said what I've just said, okay, take your focus off where we are today as the church, the body of Christ, and go in your mind, in your minds, I go to the ages to come. You remember, the, Paul tells us how to divide the Bible up. Time passed, but now in the ages to come. Now take your thinking to the ages to come, dealing with the little flock. Okay. In Mark 13, Jesus speaks to the about the tribulation period, and he warns the guys. I mean, uh, I've got the Bible here. Let's open up to Mark 13. Mark 13, verse 21. It says, And then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or, Lo, he is there, believe him not, for false Christs, that's plural, and false prophets shall rise and shall shew signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Okay, so, so Christ is warning the, 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 his apostles there the little, and the little flock. Um, that's, that, that, that will, he's warning the guys. Hey, listen, be careful. And so today, we're looking at the spirit behind Santa. And we need to recognize that. Now, for the little flock going through that tribulation period, they've also been warned about uh, um, false Christs. Okay. Slightly different text, but you, you, can you can you see what I'm saying? I hope you can. Anyway, and one more one more uh, 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 chapter I want to read to you in, in in line with what we've just been saying. Come with me to the First John. Now, First John again is written to the little flock. Doctrinally speaking, it's not written to you and I. Okay, First John chapter chapter two, verse eighteen. Um, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, the Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. And then it goes on, verse 22. Uh, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? Okay, can you, can you knit that all together in your mind and see what I'm trying to say? Um, you know, what I'm trying to say is this. We've got this, 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 this time of the year, now Christmas, where we've got this, this figure of Santa Claus. Okay. Now, for you know, I'm, I'm thinking now of, of, I've got little kids. I'm thinking of my children. I'm thinking of, of the children out there. If we keep on focusing on Santa Claus, Santa Claus, year in and year out, and not bring the Bible, the Word of God, into the picture at this time of the year, Hey, you know, we're not doing our jobs properly. You know, we're ambassadors. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 says we're ambassadors of Christ. Yeah, you know, we've got a job to do here. And, it, you know, you don't have to be a preacher standing in the pulpit, mister, ma'am, if, if you teach your, your ladies group or your children. You don't have to be a name in Christianity because that's nonsense. We need to just have this Bible open and ready and be apt to teach our children and and whoever wants to listen that hey listen you got to you got to recognize these things for today in this topic we're dealing with we got to recognize the spirit behind santa for the little flock out there in the ages to come they've got to look sharp and they got to recognize and see when the false Christs are about and ultimately for them when when that um uh when the the abomination of desolation spoken of by daniel the prophet now i'm quoting mark here Standeth where it ought not. Let him that readeth understand. Then let him that be in Judea flee to the mountains. So you, the little flock have got to, they've got to identify this and then get out of town. You and I today have got to identify what's behind Santa. So that we can educate our children as to what the word of God says. Remember, in my purpose statement, I said to you that we mustn't be ignorant of, of this fact that, that, that Satan... He wants to be like the Most High. He's a counterfeit. And we have a final authority that we go by. We are people of the book. We've, In our English language, the King James Bible is our final authority. We need to go back to here. That's what we've done in the series. We've looked at a whole bunch of points of, of how we know and, and what the, the fables and tradition of Santa is. We've looked at what, what Jesus Christ in Scripture is. And we can see we can see the spirit behind Santa. Like, we, like the little flock are going to have to see see and and know about these false Christs and and, and the antichrist etc uh 
I, I hope that that's, look, that's a lot of information to take in. I get it. I understand. If you do have any questions, just please leave a message in the, in the comment box down below, and I'll, I'll most certainly get back to you on that. Now what I want to do in closing, I, I look at the time. In closing, I just want to bring up one or two passages of Scripture out of the Pauline epistles to close the series off, just as a reminder to us. We all need the reminders, and I, th I think I'm going to take you to Ephesians chapter 5, if you will. If you don't have a Bible, that's okay. I, I, I can read it out here. Uh, Ephesians 5 verse 8. Um, For ye were sometimes darkness, which just means you were ignorant and lost. But now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Verse 10, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Okay. And then it goes on to say, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Okay, the, the part I want you to see there is, uh, for we were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Then down to verse 14. Uh, for he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. That's from being spiritually dead, okay? Uh, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Verse 16, Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. There's a number of other passages that we could go to uh, for today. But I think... Let's leave it at that. Let's close the series off with that. And last thoughts on the spirit of Santa. Folks, it's the 24th of December 2020. A lot of you are, are home with family and it's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's an awesome time. Some of you, unfortunately, didn't make it home. I understand it. So the whole thing here, <laughs> like I said in, in earlier on in the series, not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy, for by faith you stand. Folks, we people of a book, it's nice to, to be aware of what the Bible says about the spirit of, of Santa. Okay, we've got visual now, we've got the picture. That's important. <laughs> what what I, I wouldn't recommend doing, if you are in a mall and you see Santa, you know, there's, there's people that are dressed up like Santa now. If you've got a Santa coming around to your house for, a, for, in a, for this Christmas or whatever, don't kick the oak out the house and beat him to death, if you know what I'm saying. Just identify what you've heard, keep it in your mind, and uh, uh, just you, you, now you've got knowledge of it, you know. Just remember it and, and teach your children. Open up the word of God. Let them understand what's going on. And remember, just around the corner, we've got Easter time. And there's that whole pagan thing about the Easter bunnies. Now, when does an Easter bunny lay an egg? Come on, brew. But that's what's out there. Let us teach the children, our children what that's all about. And the story about the tooth fairy when our little ones, when, they, when the tooth pops out. Listen, let's teach our children the truth. Let's get this objective standard back on the supper table each and every, every, every night. Let's get this book back into our school systems to the praise of his glory. Folks, it's been wonderful to be with you in this series. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. It's been awesome to speak Bible with you. And uh, I'm going to play you a song on the way out. Have a, a festive season. We'll catch up in the new year, and um, for those of you that are interested, we will be looking into the book of Daniel and uh, studying that out. It'll be a, it, that, that's going to be a wonderful study, and I invite you to be a part of that. And until we meet next year, take care and Maranatha. Arthur.